amazing lines. Uh, by the way, G2, G3 in yeah, Lanier's we'll, game, and uh, he stopped. <laughs> yeah, uh, and what is Gary it? against uh, Lanier Dominguez. And G3, what? and well, obviously, Lanier is not entirely confused. Just wondering what <laughs> is it that is And by is. this move. He's yeah. just simply trying to understand what his opponent wants here and trying to just pick his approach accordingly. Exactly. Takes knight a5. This has become the go-to sequence. Now, uh, one of the ideas of Wilhelm Steinitz, which Bobby Fischer also essayed... It's yeah. similar to a Grand Prix, but the bishop is on g2, not on c4. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a spiritual, you know, descendant close? maybe, or, or relative of all of these things. Right. So he goes d3 here, and then he just goes in. A4, uh, d6, knight h3, which is actually something that they do quite a lot these days. Because this knight drops back to f2, you can maybe bring the other one to f3, solving the problem of what to do for the knight <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, So knight h3, uh, linear goes h5, knight f2. By the way, h5 is the novelty. Mm. But I would assume this is already an incredibly rare position up to knight h3. Sure. I wouldn't expect this to be particularly uh, well-traveled. It, it's not well-traveled, but there are some names here playing this. I, I saw... I saw Richard... I think I'm... Be sat there suffering for much longer. 
Exactly. You, you really don't want to be staring in this position. Right? It's a very dispiriting it's, idea. I exactly. understand this is pretty hopeless for Anish, but can he... Okay, so he gives a check to the king. I was thinking of going rook h6 and then, you know, trying desperately with the a pawn and yes. trying to trade off as many pawns as possible. Yeah. Uh, Wesley is uh, confusing as all. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll finish watching this because I'm pretty sure after rook f3 the game just ends. I don't, I don't think it gets played very far past the rook f3. Yeah, and then rook we can discuss Wesley. And of course, Lenya will keep an eye on the f6 pawn. You can invoke the words of your favorite <laughs> author. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say, past pawn is a prisoner, must be kicked uh, under, not Oh, that nims a bitch. Oh, it's too painful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, yes, it had to be done. It had to be done, huh? No, he, he had some brilliant witticisms. You uh, absolutely give him some credit for, for, for those. Uh, rook h3 to f3 is not a difficult move at no. all, but. but Lanier is one of those players. He, he is just very meticulous, isn't he? he, he Rook f3 played. He, he takes his maximum amount of time to play his moves. f7, as expected, and now knight e6. And I think Anish will yeah, that, that uh, happily throw in the towel after knight e6. Because that stops the rook from coming, the white rook from coming to h6, attacks the pawn on f7. Opens the avenue for white for, for, for black to promote his H pawn. Yeah. Nice technique there from Elenia. You know, once he once it converted into an in-game stage, he was absolutely perfect. Yeah. No, he's meticulous. <laughs> Thank you, Peter, for that. But yeah, this is uh, this has been quite a tour de force by. Uh, I know. I'm not yeah. sure. I would say he made a mistake. And we have a handshake. Lenia Dominguez and a wins really against the Really disappointing. Oof. That is a blow. That is really. But, but, but Peter, help me out here. Did he make a mistake? No. I mean, a, a, a mistake. Lenny I haven't. I haven't mistake. seen one. No. Today I haven't seen one. I've seen things which I could maybe describe as inaccuracies. Uh, but, I mean, it's a, it's a very, very difficult, very unusual game from a very offbeat opening. You will, at some point, make moves which the engine slightly disagrees with. But nothing I would describe as a mistake. Wow. A very, wow. very solid, good game. Performance. By, yeah. By the year. Okay, uh, you were about to tell us uh, that Wesley's performance. Yeah, Wesley is...